Hey guys, and welcome back. For you, it's been a week. For me, it's the next day. I parked at one of my friend's houses here in Washington and caught up, which was really nice. And now I'm getting ready for a road trip, but not a road trip you might suspect. I will be driving my friend's vehicle to Utah, which means I'm leaving the van. How silly is that? Like day one, doing a road trip, the next day I'm getting in a completely different vehicle and leaving this for a week. That's what's happening. So I have to pack my bags, close up the van, and get the other car ready to drive out first thing tomorrow morning because tomorrow I'm starting a 17 hour drive, maybe 18 hours if you, you know, account for stopping at gas stations and stuff. So here we go. First order of affairs is to dump all my water just in case um, it freezes. Next order of affairs is I have to get the truck out and the van in. I hope I didn't break anything. Okay, now that the truck is out, it's time to bring the van in. Hopefully, my van clears this. Because the other doors are broken, apparently. So this is the only way in. Van's in, so now we just wait for tomorrow. The next morning. Good morning. I didn't ask about the lights. They are what they are, okay? 4.20 in the morning. I'm just waiting for coffee to be made and then I'm gonna hit the road. It's a good 17 plus hours of driving today. If all goes well, I should be in uh, Hurricane Utah around 11 o'clock. driving for about four and a half hours now still in Washington you can see I have 13 hours and seven minutes left I'm gonna get in at midnight at this point like oh well I'm gonna go find a gas station and then we're gonna keep driving Bye. This is how windy it is at this rest stop. Now 11.45 and this is the first time I've stopped to use the washroom. Like I haven't had to go all day until now, which is probably not healthy. 10 hours and 42 minutes left to go. I am super behind. I was hoping to be in Idaho by noon. Yeah, I got a long ways to go before I'm in Idaho. Oof, I just have a long way to go in general. Yep. Gonna go back at it now. Get back. Much later. My dudes just made it into Utah. I mean, I still have like a good six and a half hours left of driving, but I'm close. I'm close. It's 12:24 in the morning and I finally arrived. I believe there's a time change, so for me it's actually like 11.24, not 12.24, but still, that equates to around 19 hours of driving. <laughs> it's probably top three most delirious I've been because of being tired, this is crazy. It was to the point where when I was driving, I thought I was in a video game and I would get scared of the overpasses because I thought they were gonna hit me in the head. I am so tired. I made it to Utah. I'm excited to see how it goes. You'll understand what I mean by that soon. <laughs> I'm 
So I'll see you guys later. It's a small, small note. Don't climb up something you can't climb down.